Hello again and welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take part 3 of the listening exam. Hey again, Hossein here. I would like you to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned in for more videos. And if you have any other questions, please ask them in the comments below and I'm going to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you. Part 3 of the real exam is always a conversation in an academic context. Usually a conversation between two students or a student and a professor or two students and a professor and they talk about an academic subject or an academic topic. For example, they talk about the research that the students are going to do or about the project that they are going to do. And the questions that you are going to answer are around these conversation and around the things that they are talking about. The dominant type of question in part three is multiple choice items, multiple choice questions. I understand that multiple choice items are the hardest type of question for many candidates. Why? Because they have to read a lot of information in a very short amount of time. So one really good technique for that is that you use the time at the end of part one and at the end of part two to read ahead, to read part three or sometimes part four in advance before you get to that part so that by the time you arrive at that part you will have read two or three of the items there is one standard way to answer multiple choice item questions and that is you have to read everything you have to read the question and you have to read the options in listening but not in reading don't forget that in reading, you just read the question, not the items, not the options. We will get to that in another video. So, you read the question and you read the items. Everything that is there, five questions, three questions, I don't know. Everything that is there has to be read. You have to read everything. You have to underline them and you have to understand what they are. So, logically, one of the items, one of the choices is the correct answer, either A, B, or C. So, what you are going to hear, almost all of them, you are going to hear A, you are going to hear 2, B, and you are going to hear C. But, as I mentioned previously, this is not a hearing test, this is a listening test. So, you have to listen for content, okay? The best technique and a strategy you can use here is to eliminate the wrong answers. Sometimes when those two students, for example, are talking to each other, imagine they talk about A, option A, okay? Uh, imagine A, B, C, imagine C is the correct answer. They start talking about A, okay? And then for some reason, A is not the correct answer. You have to eliminate it. Then from A, they move to C, which is the correct answer. Then you choose it, okay? And then they even talk about B, all right? And then you have to eliminate it. You have to make sure that C is correct. Sometimes they give you the correct answer at the start, like, C is the correct answer. They start talking about C and you have to choose it. And then they talk about A and B and then you have to eliminate those wrong answers. And sometimes they give you the correct answer. At the end, they, talk, they start talking about A, you eliminate that, you listen very carefully and you eliminate that. Then they talk about B, you listen carefully and you eliminate that. And then finally they get to the answer, part C, and then you have to choose it. So in a nutshell, sometimes they give you the correct answer first, sometimes second, sometimes third. The first thing they talk about is the answer, sometimes the second one and sometimes the third one. You have to listen for content. You have to listen very carefully and eliminate the wrong items. Those wrong items are what we call distractors in testing and assessment. Okay. Like, 
This is the correct answer. These two are called distractors. They are there to distract you. But you shouldn't be distracted. You have to listen very carefully for everything and you have to eliminate the wrong answers, the wrong items as you listen. And hopefully by the end of that, uh, you will have gotten the correct answer. So this is the best strategy and technique for multiple choice items in listening. If you have time to read everything, but what if you don't have enough time to read everything? This is what you have to do, which is not a very standard way of doing that. Okay, this is not a very standard, a standard way of taking multiple choice items. In this way, if you don't have enough time to read the items, okay, if you haven't had enough time to read the items beforehand, previously, when they start, you just read the questions, okay, and you listen very carefully and you try to take notes of the answers. And at the end of the exam, in that extra 10 minutes that you have, you're going to read the options very carefully and you're going to eliminate the wrong answers and hopefully you will get a couple of the answers right. Actually, this is what I'm going to test myself uh, with the second practice test, not with the first one. I'm going to intentionally not read the options. I'm just going to read the questions, okay, in video 9 of this series. I'm going to read the questions, not the options, and I'm going to listen very carefully. And I want to test it. There are five questions there, okay, in video 9. Uh, not in the next video, in video 9. And I'm going to test myself. I'm going to see how many of those five items I can get right without having read them, okay? Uh, so, I'm not going to read the options, I'm only going to read the questions and listen very carefully and take some notes and I want to test it. So it's very important for you to watch that video very carefully when you get to that. But in the next video, lesson number seven, which is uh, part three of the real exam, I'm not going to do that because the type of question in this exam is not a multiple choice item. I'm going to go with the standard way, which is part four. In part four of this exam, of the first practice exam, of the first practice test, uh, part four, there are some multiple choice items. And I'm going to go with the standard way first. And in video nine, the not very standard way. So, what should you do with multiple choice items? Uh, I'm going to mix the standard and the not very standard way together, okay? I recommend that my students try to read as much as they can. Imagine there are five multiple choice items and then they read ahead at the end of section one, part one, and at the end of part two, and they can cover one, two, and three of them okay but they don't have enough time for number four and number five so i recommend that they read everything they read the items the questions and the options as much as they can but once the recording starts okay they go for the not very standard technique and way all right so uh, they have read for example number one number two number three they they listen very carefully and they eliminate the wrong answers and then they find the correct answer here okay and for these last two questions uh, i recommend that they just read the question and take notes because that's better than nothing okay so you read the questions and you start taking notes when they are talking so chances are that you get at least one of them, or if you're lucky, two of them right. So let me say it again. You try to read ahead as much as you can, okay? At the end of part one, at the end of part two, you try to read number one and the options, number two and the options, number three and the options when you get to part three, okay? When you're at the end of this option, the recording starts playing, okay? So don't worry, 
don't get stressed. When you get to number four and five, at that time, you just read the questions and take notes. And at the end of the exam, in that extra 10 minutes, read the options and try to eliminate the wrong ones. And maybe you can get the answers right. This brings me to the most important technique in a multiple choice item question. Actually, this is not about a multiple choice item like, like three options in listening. This is about all the questions in which you have to choose one correct answer, one or two, one or two correct answers out of three items, out of four items, out of five items, out of ten items. Okay, this is not about listening. This is not just about listening. This is also about reading too. When it comes to choosing one or two correct answers from a list of options, by far the best thing you can do is to eliminate the wrong answers. Eliminate the wrong answers. Okay, try not to look for the correct answers because those other items are distractors and they try to distract you so you may easily get distracted by them so you have to read them very carefully and you have to eliminate them i eliminate uh, option a because of this word i eliminate option c because of this word and i choose part b because those two others are eliminated and i heard this one and i listened for this one and this is the correct answer so Eliminating the wrong answers is the best technique, is the best strategy for choosing the correct answer from a list of options, either in reading or listening. Thank you everyone for watching this lesson. I would like you to go to the next lesson and start taking part three with me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and stay tuned in for more videos. Thank you.